If you're a network engineer, you're going to come across Linux one day or the other, and I guarantee you that. Now, today we're going to discuss a few commands in Linux that are extremely helpful for troubleshooting, root cause analysis, and doing other stuff with Linux. But today we're going to focus more on the command ls. We're going to write a Python script to create hundreds and thousands of files. We're going to also uh, run a command. Uh, in Linux to delete multiple files. We're going to manipulate the output uh, that we're going to use while dealing with Linux. So let's go ahead with ls. This is the main command we're going to focus on today. With the ls, we get the files and directories that are present inside your present working directory. To print the present working directory, you run the command pwd, which is to print the working directory. I'm in home as son, and in there we have these directories and files. In order to understand which one of these are files and which, which one of these are directories, we do ls hyphen um, uppercase f. As we can see, all of these are directories because these end with a forward slash at the end. Now, in order to demonstrate my point, I'm going to create a file. So let's say touch file one, I do ls hyphen f again, and I see that file one does not end with a forward slash. However, the others do end with a forward slash, which, which indicates that these are directories. And file one is just a file, it's not a directory. If I type um, cd file one, it won't let me do that because it's not a directory, right? We can, I can do the same for, I can do this, however, for a desktop, for example. Yes, I'm able to get in there. And if I print the working directory, I'm in desktop at the moment, right? So let me just go back with the cd space, uh, space dot dot. Okay, let me clear the screen. Other options available with ls um, include ls hyphen l, which gives you more information. And it's, it's very readable when it comes to a certain set of files that are in your directory. This is a good way of checking the files. Now, as I just created file one, I see it somewhere in the middle. I wanna make sure that the files that are created most recently or the directories that are created more recently are modified. They are seen at the top. For that, I can do ls hyphen uh, lt. The t option does that. And I, as you can see, I see file one at the top. Now, if I do touch file two, for example, and I run the same command, ls hyphen lt, I see file two at the top. And if I just run ls hyphen l, okay, I see it here, right? So that's that. Now, Another cool command uh, option available with ls is ls hyphen lh. Uh, as you can see, we see the uh, size of the files in a human readable format. That's what this h stands for. And this is a common command. This is something I use every single day. If I just use ls hyphen l, before this we used to see 4096 and now we see 4 kilobytes, right? So it's it's very human readable. Other options available with ls include ls hyphen a. So that would be to check the hidden files inside your present working directory. The hidden files start with a dot and that's how you identify the hidden files. I don't use this option. This option uh, um, I haven't come across a situation where I have to use this uh, use this option, and therefore I don't, I don't use this option. The one that I go for usually is ls hyphen lth. This is uh, what I almost use every single day, right? So let me just go ahead and clear the screen. Okay, now I'm going to create a new folder with the mkdir command, a uh, new directory for that matter. I'm going to call it testing, mkdir testing. If I do a pwd, I'm in uh, home son at the moment. Now, to move to the testing directory, I can run the cd command and then testing. And if I do a pwd now, I see that I'm in home asan testing. Let me go ahead and clear the screen. Now, I'm going to create the Python script here with which I can go ahead and create hundreds and thousands of files if I want. If I do ls right now, I, I see that there's nothing inside this folder, right? There's nothing inside this directory. Let me clear it again. Let me do a y. I'm going to call it creator.py. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm inside of the creator.py um, file that, in which we're going to write the script to create hundreds and thousands of files. Okay. Let's write down our logic. So for, okay, to begin with, with a VI, you have to make sure that you get into the insert mode to begin typing, right? So press the I key 
on your keyboard to get into the insert mode. And once you do that, you can run, uh, you can write uh, the script. For J, I'm just using J as a variable for J in range zero through a hundred. I just want to create a hundred files for now. Um, colon. Now here, I'm going to create the files with this with open. I'm going to name these as let's say um, file. Yeah, that's fine. I can use it as file. File. Now plus, I'm going to concatenate. Um, the J variable to this uh, file string so that I get the files in this uh, order. File zero, file one, file two, file three. And the zero, one, two, three, I'm gonna toggle with this J variable. As we can see, it goes till zero through nine, from zero through 99. So I'm gonna have to convert J to a string because J is an integer. So I can do that, right? I can do that. That's perfect. Now, uh, as FL, no problems. I'm, I'm not taking any action, so I can go for pass or continue or whatever. It's going to work just fine. Okay, I'm done. This is it, literally. If you want to create, let's say, 1,000 files, change this to 1,000. 10,000, just change this to 10,000 and so on right it's that simple press the escape key and then as you can see on the bottom left corner colon right quit and then force that's it once i do this i run ls okay i got creator.py right here if i want to check the contents of creator.py without going into creator.py with the vi command i can just run the cat command so i'll do a cat Creator.py, and I see, oh, this is what we have inside Creator.py. But we don't see all the 100 files created. Why is that? Because I have not yet executed the Creator.py file. So let me clear the screen and go ahead and execute the, uh, the Python um, file that we created Creator.py, Python 3, Creator.py. I hit enter, and that's it. Now, if I run the ls command, I see, oh, there are all these files in here, file 19, 3, 40, 51, and so on. Okay, okay, that's good. Now, this doesn't look um, readable at all, and there are files all over the place. Let's see. Let's say, for example, you're only interested to list the files that begin with L, uh, file uh, 3 and so on. So how do you do that? I'll go ahead and clear the screen. I'll say ls, okay, that's fine, hyphen. Um, okay, let's not use the hyphen. I'm gonna put a combination of ls and grep in here. I'm gonna say file and then three, that's it. ls, list the files and then grep based on this um, uh, you know, string that I provided with file three. And it does not necessarily mean that your your uh, contents inside the directory um, have to begin with file three. If file three uh, string is, uh, is found anywhere in the middle of the file names or the directories as well, those would be printed as well, right? Okay, that's 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 very cool, right? I can do a file two, I can grep for file two, and I get only that output that I'm interested in. So these commands are extremely powerful for you to run when you're dealing with um, a directory. When you're in a directory where you have hundreds and thousands of files, uh, consider this: if I go, if I went ahead and uh, created like a thousand files, if I do a created.py here. You see, I've, I, I just need to change this one uh, value from 100 to, let's say, a, a 10,000, a couple more zeros in there, and this would have looked disastrous. And in this case, it's actually very easy because I got the file names which are very close, uh, which are very similar, right? In, in real life scenarios, you won't usually get across such situations unless you're dealing with log files and stuff like that. Let me go ahead and clear the screen now. Okay. Now, let's say I want to go ahead and uh, delete all these files. Now, I'm not interested in all these files, so I'm done with them. Okay, not all of them. Let's say I want to delete a chunk of them. I'm going to say delete file uh, to star. So RM is for remove, so which is basically deleting um, any uh, file 
or directory inside this. So not exa not exactly directory. Sorry about that. So rm is to remove the files. In order to remove the directories, you got to run rm uh, dir. Right. Anyways, we're not touching that. So rm any file that has the string file to and whatever. Okay. I hit enter, and if I run ls now, I don't find any file in here which uh, which begins with this file to and so on. You won't find any single file in here like that. And you can do a ls hyphen lt as well. Now, for example, I want to remove the other ones as well. I can just do uh, rm um, file, and I and then I know this is the common uh, string in all of these files. So I can just do rm file and then star. That's it. rm file star. Hit enter. Clear the screen. ls. Boom. There you go. Nothing in there. We just have this Python script. I don't like this Python script as well. Well, with it. Okay. Remove it. ls. Boom. That's it. We're done. Okay, so I hope this uh, video was useful. And um, there, there, there's so much of uh, more stuff you can do with LS, grep, and there are other options available with grep as well that you can run. I'm going to try to cover more stuff in the upcoming videos because I tell you what, as a network engineer, uh, the, these things are extremely important. If you're getting a job in networking and uh, you're not coming uh, across Linux, I'm telling you that's impossible. Okay, so thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it was useful and please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, comment. Um, put some comments if you have any suggestions or anything. It helps with the YouTube algorithm as well. Uh, thank you so much again. You guys have a great day ahead. Goodbye.